Well, good morning, boys and girls. Um, it's really good to be able to say hello to you today uh, from Clare Meeting House. I've missed you. I miss not being able to see you. But I thought that over the next little while, I could talk to you like this and read to you a few stories uh, from the Bible, uh, stories that have been uh, retold by people um, who have teamed up with the Good Book Company um, to write beautiful books like these. In Clare, over the last little while, we have been talking a lot about books. Um, Robin Fairburn from the, Big, from the Good Book Company came along to talk with us about reading good Christian books. And indeed, we also got together our own little church library um, with different books such as this grouped together for you to be able to read. But no sooner had we got the library together, everything happened so that we can no longer meet. And so what I thought that we could do over the next little while um, is read a few of them together. Uh, I got an email from the Good Book Company uh, that said very kindly that they would love for people to uh, read their books and to post videos um, of the reading of their books. So that's what I want to do with you. And I want to start by reading to the boys and girls of Ahori, Claire and Vinnie Cash, and indeed any others who might be watching, this wonderful story, uh, this beautiful book called Goodbye to Goodbyes. So you ready? Let's read this. So it's written by Lauren Chandler. It's illustrated by Catalina Egeveri, and it's called Goodbye to Goodbyes, a true story about Jesus, Lazarus, and an empty tomb. Let's read it together. In the little town of Bethany, there lived a man named Lazarus. He had two sisters, Mary and Martha. Martha loved to throw a party. Mary loved to sit and listen. Lazarus loved his two sisters, and they were all friends with a man named Jesus. But one day, Lazarus got sick. He went to bed sick, and he woke up sick. Martha and Mary looked after him, but Lazarus got worse and worse. I know, said Martha, I will tell our friend Jesus. He can help. Martha thought about all Jesus had done. He made the blind people see. He made the deaf people hear. He made people who had been sick walk, jump, run, and leap for joy. He could make Lazarus well. So she and Mary sent a message to Jesus. Lord Jesus, our brother Lazarus, the friend that you love, is sick. Come quickly. It took two days for Martha's message to reach Jesus. And when Jesus heard his friend was very, very sick, he did nothing. Did nothing? That's right. He didn't ride the first donkey to Bethany. He didn't run until his side hurt. For two whole days, he stayed right where he was. Why? Jesus told his disciples, our friend Lazarus is very sick, but this illness won't end with Lazarus being dead. We won't have to say goodbye forever. I have a plan. <laughs> Jesus had a plan, but what was it? Then at last, Jesus and his disciples headed to Bethany. Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, Jesus announced. But I'm on my way to wake him up. The disciples looked at each other. Did they hear him right? Lazarus was sleeping. 
Couldn't Mary and Martha wake him up? Jesus knew their questions. He looked at them and said, Lazarus has died. Dead? How could this be? Didn't Jesus say that Lazarus would not die? Didn't he say that they wouldn't have to say goodbye forever? What happened to his plan? Every step to Bethany felt heavier and heavier. Their hearts sank deeper and deeper. They were sad their friend had died. They didn't even get to say goodbye. Four days after Lazarus had died, Jesus and his disciples finally arrived. Martha came running to meet them. Her face was sad, her eyes were red. Lord, she gasped, if only you had been here, Lazarus would not have died. But I know nothing is impossible with you, even after someone's died and we've said our forever goodbyes. You're right, Martha, Jesus said. There is a day coming when we will say goodbye to saying goodbyes forever. Do you believe that? Martha nodded, yes, I believe in you, Jesus. I know that you are the son of God and I know that you always do what you promise. You will end all our goodbyes forever. Martha went and fetched Mary. And Mary was so sad. The brother she loved was gone. She would never hug him again. She would never eat with him again. She would never see his face again. Jesus saw her tears. And then it happened. His heart broke. He knew what he was about to do. He knew Lazarus's goodbye wasn't forever, but his heart broke for his friends. When they reached Lazarus's tomb, Jesus cried too. They cried and cried and cried because they'd had to say a forever goodbye. But then Jesus stopped crying and said, Take away the stone. Martha told him there might be a horrible smell. Jesus said, you need to believe me. So they took away the stone. Then he yelled like a lion's mighty roar. Lazarus, come out. And he, and he, he did. Jesus kept his word. Lazarus being sick didn't end with him being dead. It ended with him alive even after he died, after they'd had to say goodbye. Mary, Martha, Lazarus, and Jesus were together again. Martha threw a party. Mary laughed and listened. Lazarus was glad to be alive. But then the time came for Jesus to say goodbye. He hugged the friends that he loved and said, goodbye for now, but not forever. Jesus had to go to Jerusalem where he would be the one to say goodbye and die. And then, like Lazarus, walk out of the tomb alive. And after that, Jesus said goodbye again because he was going back to heaven. It was sad for Jesus' friends to say goodbye, but they would see him again in the land that lay after their dying, in the land where there are no more goodbyes, not ever. We all have to say goodbye sometimes. Some of them are short goodbyes. Some are long. Sometimes a friend of Jesus who we love gets sick and we're sad. Sometimes because they die, we have to say goodbye. It feels like a forever goodbye. Jesus knows it is sad to say goodbye. 
So Jesus came to end goodbyes. And one day, Jesus and all his friends will say goodbye to goodbyes forever. And that, boys and girls, is the end of the story, goodbye to goodbyes. It's such a good story because it's a true story about Jesus and how he can give us hope. Even in the face of death, Jesus is the King of Kings. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. And Jesus came so that we one day could say goodbye to goodbyes forever. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, thank you that you came to say goodbye to goodbyes. Thank you that you came to die and then rise again from the dead, that all who believe in you might never finally die, but have life that goes on forever and ever. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for all the boys and girls in Hori, in Clare, and in Vinnie Catch. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that they would take in the truth of your word, that you are the resurrection and the life, that you are the one who came to say goodbye to goodbyes. And may they all come to trust in you. And I pray this in your name. Amen. Boys and girls, we're going to sing a song now. Um, it's a song that we have sung a few times in Ahori and Clare. Uh, in Vinnie Cash, it may be new to you, boys and girls, but I hope that you enjoy this song as well. It's called, Have You Heard About Jesus? And we're going to sing it together.
Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed uh, the story and the song by Sovereign Grace. And it's been really good to be able to talk to you. Um, stay safe, keep well, and hopefully I'll be able to talk to you soon.